Hey, what is up everybody? This is Harrison Barron, The Millennial Entrepreneur, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to market your MSP. So if you found this video and you're curious to know what an MSP is, an MSP is a managed service provider, or in the more layman's terms, a IT company. So a lot of companies out there will hire an IT company to make their business or operation run more efficiently. That can mean everything from updating computers, making sure the network's secure, and really keeping out the bad stuff to make sure the business never really has downtime, and downtime is just when the business can't make any money or can't progress forward. That's why you typically hire an IT company, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about a handful of ways, and I say handful because I'm going to be kind of going off of a list, but I'm probably going to add a bunch of new things in there as well for 2019 to bring it to the ultimate level of success for you. So first thing to understand is when you're doing marketing for an IT company, you have to understand that the business owner is really handing the IT company or MSP some really valuable stuff. And when I say stuff, it could be their company, it could be their computers, it could be pictures of their grandkids, it could be anything like that. And you have to be super careful about those kinds of things because those business owners worked really, really hard to build that and they don't wanna lose it. So if a business owner is hiring you right off the bat, you have to understand the amount of trust that they have in you is tremendous. Because of this, there's a couple things that you just need to know about. When you're taking over, you gotta be really respectful, you gotta be really kind when you're taking it over and you gotta to let them know that they're in really good hands and you're going to treat their company just like they treat their company like it's your baby and you're probably wondering harrison how does this relate to marketing and i promise you because if you nurture and you take care of that lead or you just everything you do is about really taking care of those things the business owner is really going to feel a lot more comfortable with you and when they do feel a lot more comfortable with you they're going to be significantly more inclined to trust you with their company when you're taking over meta services and you're probably still thinking oh my god but why does this how does this relate to marketing? Because everything you do, every piece of content, you have to feel like you're getting safety and security when it comes to those things. The business owner wants to be able to hand you their baby. They're handing you this baby of theirs to ultimately take over it. They're expecting you to not drop the ball on it. So when you market it, everything you do has to be nurturing and careful like it is your own child. So the second thing you have to do, and, I can, and I'm gonna go into all the normal marketing things at the later part of this video, but these core principles up front are everything that's gonna help you build those later on ideas. Every time they call, answer the phone. One of the biggest challenges managed service providers have is not answering the phone. And it doesn't matter if that person sits on wait, but you have to have somebody answer the phone and kind of quote unquote field those calls, which means, hey, is that going to be a really high level priority thing? Or is that going to be something super low priority it could get done overnight? And divvying up those responsibilities and divvying up those things is going to give that person more security and more peace of mind when it comes to marketing your company. Your goal when marketing this and taking taking care of those things and making sure there's no wait time is to turn your customers into your brand ambassadors. Everybody likes an IT company that's super responsive. So why not make sure that they're getting super responsive stuff and they're going to become your salespeople. And this is probably the strangest thing to think about when marketing, but if you take the time to actually build these relationships and really nurture them, those people are going to sell for you all day long. Business owners hang out with business owners. So why not take the opportunity to really set the bar really high when it comes to that kind of stuff. Make the process easy. So when you're doing marketing and it doesn't matter if it's flyers because every area is going to be a little different if it's online ads or anything like that, make the process as easy as possible. You guys are tech people. You should be making this process easy. Easy. And when I say easy, I mean easy to buy, easy to learn about it, easy to find out information. Everything should be easy when it comes to this kind of stuff because people want their lives to be easier. That's why they're hiring. They want it to be easier. They want less stress and less weight on their back. They're passing it along to you for probably a good chunk of change. So why not take it and make their life as easy as possible? Even as far as signing a quote should be easy. Here's the proposal. Let me get it back. Done. That's it. It should be that easy. There should be clear definitions definitions on everything that you're sending out. And lastly, let people know what products to use. So if it's a mom and pop shop, let them know, hey, we might not be the best fit for you because we cost a little bit more money, but here's some good alternatives that you can use. Having those alternatives is going to help a lot when it comes to letting people know and getting them to the level of success that they can eventually hire you. 
giving away that free information and saying, hey, by the way, if you need a free antivirus, go check out Avast. It's totally free. It's going to give you a couple pop-ups, but you can know that your computer is going to be pretty secure. Maybe not as secure as hiring somebody, but this is the best thing you can do. It's kind of like changing your oil in your car. It's probably the best thing that most people can do for their car. They could absolutely go do a whole tune-up, but chances are pretty good most people don't have the savvy to go do that. That's why they're doing an oil change to just prolong the life of their car. Same exact thing. Give them or help them out in the littlest way possible and then ultimately when they get more money or they get to the point where they can hire an IT company, who are they going to come to? You. That's the goal. They're going to come to you. Alright guys, now let's get into the more traditional kind of stuff for marketing and I know this video is going to be a little bit longer but I want to kind of go over how you can do this. Now personally, I hate physical stuff. I absolutely do. And you're probably wondering, why do you hate physical stuff? I'm a digital marketer. And the whole point of technology companies is to be digital. They shouldn't spend little to no money on anything physical. There shouldn't be coasters. There shouldn't be any giveaways. Anything like that should never exist. Marketers and IT people are supposed to be smart, especially digital marketers. So you're thinking, well, what am I supposed to do if that's not the case? Well, you're going to do a couple different things. One, create a landing page that's super captivating and help drive traffic to it. Even if it's paid traffic, do it online, create captivating ads, drive them to it. You're supposed to be smart. Give something away. If it's a free system health check, give them a link that they can click on. It's going to scan their system and give you a report. Then you're giving them something free. They're going to see that and say, oh, well, here's this point, here's this point, here's this point. Well, this is good, this is not so good, this is good, but this is really bad down here. We gotta fix that. And if it's something we can't fix in-house, we gotta hire it out. Let's go to this IT company. They already gave us information, and you as an IT company now have that information to then utilize at a later date. Newsletters are absolutely one of the best and cheapest ways to get in contact with not only your existing customers, and I don't want you people to think that existing customers is only these people that pay you, the existing customers is every single person that hires your company. And not only hires your company, but is working inside of those companies because those people, if they complain enough, they will absolutely leave your company. So you're technically working for all of those people as well because those people, if they complain, are gonna fire your company as well. They'll go up to the boss and they'll say, hey, this company sucks, let's get rid of them. I'm always having an issues. So you're technically servicing the entire company and the entire company is deciding to keep you every single month. So why not send out a newsletter? Hey, this happened, this happened, this is what we're working on. This virus came out and we've already put something in place. Make yourself look good, I don't want you to make yourself look bad, but at the same time inform people of what's going on in the world and what they're being protected against. Because every business owner, like I said in the beginning of this video, wants peace of mind. It's that simple. Next, blogging is absolutely absolutely so critical. You have all of these techs who are constantly submerged in IT. They are learning all the time what Bitcoin is, how to pay Russian hack, how to do this, how to do this. Have them all write a 400 to 1,000 word blog. It doesn't take that much time. They're all pretty smart. Their English skills might not be the best, but, and that's nothing mean against anybody, it's just they're very technical people, and I was an IT person for years, my English skills aren't the best, so I, I have to go through and proofread 10 times and then submit it to a proofreading service. From there, start to cultivate that content and put it on a blog. Put it on something on your website that's gonna help drive traffic there, and when it drives traffic there, it's only gonna help take you to the next level. It's really that simple. Getting all of those people, if you have five texts or you have 20 texts, Asking them all to write a blog on a monthly or bi-monthly basis and sticking to it, the key is you have to stick to it, you're going to build up so much traffic to your website just from them writing a blog on a semi-frequent basis that's going to help you ultimately convert more customers and make more sales. You have to make sure that your website is going to convert customers. There should be call to actions all over the place. There should be descriptions on what kind of services that you guys provide. There should be all of this kind of information on there that when somebody visits your website, they know exactly what you do, how you do it, softwares you might be using, partners that you have, ultimately giving them a call to action saying, hey, if this is something that fits your bill, boom, click that button, and now we want to do business with you. It sounds crazy, but having call to actions and having just the most basic funnel, taking this large populace up here and bring them down and down and down and down and converting them to the sale down here is going to be tremendously more beneficial to you than anything else. I got two more after this, guys. Second to last, ask for referrals. If you're doing work for a client, 
ask them, hey, if you enjoyed this experience, please let somebody know about it. We'd love to work with as many people as possible, especially if you're in a niche. For example, if you're helping lawyers, you can help all the lawyers because you're just keeping their system secure. You're not the secret weapon as far as getting them to the next level. You're not the marketing person. You're not the salesperson. You're not anything like that. You're just making sure that they can continue working and operating at a highly efficient level. For that reason, I don't think that a code of ethics really comes into play here. However, asking for that referral, if you're working with a lawyer, ask them for more referrals from lawyers. Be like, hey, I know you hang out with lawyers. Can you refer anybody to us? We'd really like to work with more lawyers. Boom, that's gonna help drive your sales. Just simply asking for that referral. Probably not the most traditional thing to do, but it's going to tremendously change your business. And you already know what to do for those people. So it's just wash, rinse, and repeat constantly over and over and over again. And that's how you're gonna start to drive more traffic to those people. And that's how you're gonna drive more sales. It's that simple, just asking for that lead. Last but not least, my absolute favorite thing is social media. And social media is so easy in the IT world. And most of you guys, especially if you're in the MSP world or the IT world, you're probably thinking, that's so difficult. I can't get anybody to do social media. Everybody can do social media. It is that simple. Put somebody in your company in charge. Give them four to six hours a week of just purely working on social media. There's plenty of platforms out there like Hootsuite, eClincher, Buffer, anything like that that is going to be able to schedule and post those videos and photos whenever you need them to post. I don't recommend every IT company or MSP starting a YouTube channel. It just takes too much time. For the meantime, you can use Instagram, you could use Facebook, you can use LinkedIn, you can use all of these different channels to help drive your traffic. People like seeing, especially nerdy people, like seeing how IT can help people. Even Pinterest is going to help your IT company. Seeing and showing, hey, look at this gaming computer. Look at this graphic design computer. Look at this architectural computer. These computers all help these people work more efficiently and faster to get the job done. That is what business owners want to see. And IT people have a very lucky niche because they do two things. One, they do things that people can't see, and two, they do things that people can see. Cleaning up a computer and making sure there's no cables there is, this might sound weird, so important because a lot of people don't like clutter on their desk. So taking that time out to show that photo of a really clean job that an IT person did is going to tremendously go further and say, look at the quality of the work that we're producing. Look at this cable management we have. Look at our server rooms, they're spotless. All of these different things go into marketing that company in the digital space and showing that on a regular basis, putting out social media, putting out blogs, putting out landing pages, putting this on your website, is all gonna add up to ultimately drive you more sales. I have a bunch of new videos coming out in strictly this space, and I only am making these videos because I have a really in-depth knowledge of this space, and I wanna help you guys grow your businesses. If you guys found this video helpful, please take a second to smash that subscribe button. I'm gonna start putting new videos up on a bi-weekly basis. If you know somebody that this could help, send them this video. That would be tremendously impactful. I'd really appreciate it. And like always, the new videos are gonna be right here. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Should be right in this corner. Could be in this corner, but I think it's gonna be in this corner. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video and keep making sales, guys. See ya.